Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on and welcome to another video. My name is Nathaniel Morton. I'm a sports performance coach who specializes in basketball players and in vertical jump training. And before I get started with this video, make sure that you comment jump, J-U-M-P down in the comment section if you want a free vertical jump training program. We got a question from Sebastian Washkevich who says, I saw your number one best vertical workout video recently and it was three years ago. With the knowledge you have now, would you change any exercises, reps, etc.?" I don't know, because I don't remember that video. But what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna go back and watch that video that I made three years ago to see if in fact I was a fraudulent or if in fact I was giving good advice way back when and it is still good to this day. Nathaniel Morton, you guys ever realize that the way you spell my name is N-A-T-H-A-N-A-E-L, not I-E-L? I'm different, bruh. Number one best vertical jump Workout, let's see what comes up. There it is right there. The number one best vertical jump workout for basketball. The number one in the world, bro. In the world, number one best vertical jump in the world. I don't know, bro. That's good. That, that, that better be a good workout. Here we go. Let's get it. First off, the first thing I noticed is that this was in my old gym. Okay, you see, well, you, I guess you can't see because I got a green screen up so that I could put just my body in the video down in the corner so that this video looks fire so that we could watch the other video, this video, big on the screen while I'm in the corner. Yeah, we. I got a new editor. He's doing that fire stuff for these videos. But this right here was my old gym. I was actually renting out a band room, which was $400 a month in a storage unit complex thing. There were, it was a band room. There were people next to me who played in bands. So they'd be like, man, man and I'd be trying to record and they said it was soundproof although I could hear them through the walls but anyways this was in my old location bro brings back memories all right let's get into the video what's up everybody Nathaniel Morton here with Nathaniel bro first things first why are you screaming at me I know we're I'm not gonna make this video super super long but why are you screaming at bro I I swear, I'll sock you, bro. Don't be coming out here. What's up, everybody? My name is Aaron Moore. Good thing I learned how to actually talk on camera, or maybe I didn't. I don't know. I probably still suck. Morton here with NathanielMorton.com. We're on this YouTube channel. We make videos on how to get bigger, stronger, faster, and more explosive. So if you are interested in any of those topics, definitely subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you never miss a video. In today's video, I'm going to give you hands down the number one best vertical jump training workout that you could ever possibly do in your entire life. First of all, who's dunking with a backwards hat on? Second of all, this, this is just gonna be a whole roast of myself. First of all, who dunks with a hat on backwards? Who hoops with a hat on, okay? People who can't hoop, that's who. Then, I'm sorry if you wear a hat to hoop, but also, I just said this is gonna be hands down the best vertical jump workout that you've ever done in your life. Bro, this is, we gonna see, all right? We gonna see. That's a big, that's a very big promise. In my opinion. Okay, I said, in my opinion. All right, so now, now that if anything sucks, I could just say, well, that was just my opinion. All right, but anyways, let's keep going. What I'm about to say is simply my opinion and my take on how you could best increase your vertical jump to jump higher. Here we go. The best vertical jump training workout that you could ever do would have seven elements to it. It would have an exercise for power, an exercise for strength, a plyometric exercise, a unilateral exercise, meaning single leg, an exercise that focuses on hip extension, a lower back exercise, and a core exercise. All right, right off the bat, right off the bat, because I do want to give you some value for like for the from the in this video I want to give you value I don't want to just sit here and roast myself I want to actually make this video valuable for you so that you can gain some knowledge and information and take that with you to increase your own vertical jump so I said the best vertical jump workout would have these seven categories obviously that's not necessarily true for beginners listen beginners get the best results from a mixed training approach so mixed training just means all of these seven categories together it means that if you mix 
power and strength and unilateral work and hip extension and, and hypertrophy and all this stuff together, then beginners or even intermediate athletes will get great results from that. But once you get a little bit more advanced, you need to do less of a mixed training approach and you need to get more specific, meaning that you focus on one parameter at a time. So that's when you start getting into like my max strength phase and then my speed strength phase. The single parameter that we are actually focusing on is max strength. We're not trying to increase max strength and peak at the same time. So this is, these categories are great. Those are seven great categories. That's gonna be a high volume workout. So it is not necessarily true that you need all seven of these in a vertical jump training workout, but let's see what my guy has to say. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you understand that the lower back is part of the core. However, for the best vertical jump workout of all time, I would include both of these into the workout because they are both essentials. So, facts. We have our seven categories. I am now going to go through these categories and give you the number one best exercise, in my opinion, that I think could fit these categories to best help you increase your vertical jump. So, the number one power exercise that I think could help you increase your vertical jump is vertical jump, weighted jumping squats. Weighted jumping squats. Let's see what my man's means. Weighted jumping squats are the number one. You didn't just tell people to put a barbell on their back and jump with it, did you? That is what I do. Like I said in previous videos, that is what I do. But the best power X, that might be bro, that's actually up there. I don't think it's the safest. I don't think it's the safest. Be careful, everybody wear your helmet. But that is a very good exercise. The next thing that I see that I'm doing in this video is dumbbell jump squats. I like that a lot more than barbell jumping squats. And just so I say it right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this out there. I think that dumbbell jumping squats or weighted jumping squats in general are the best exercise that you could possibly do for vertical jump. I said it, other than like approach jumps, that might, that's the only one. Other than approach jumps, Jumping squats with weight resistance and repeated is probably the number one exercise there is. You're literally practicing the same movement, jumping, but you're adding load to it and you're doing it repeatedly. That's that, all right, let's get back to the video. That you could do when it comes to power to increase your vertical jump and jump higher, the only thing that could compete with weighted jumping squats would be power cleans. Power cleans are the only thing when it comes to power that could compete with weighting jumping squats. Remember. I agree with that, but weighting jumping squats are better than power cleans, hands down. Weighted jumping squats are just more specific. It's just, you are literally trying to increase your vertical jump, you are jumping with weights. So power cleans are fire, love them, but they are the only thing that could compete, but I don't think anything competes with weighting jumping squats. Just don't do it with a barbell on your back, bro. Don't do that. And I do that, but don't do that the power, there's two elements to power. There's strength, and then there's speed of movement or explosiveness. When you're doing weighted jumping squats, you would be holding a barbell or you would be holding dumbbells so the weight would help you increase your strength and you would be jumping. So that would help you increase your speed of movement and your explosiveness. So in my opinion, hands down, number one exercise for power would be weighted jumping squats. If you know how to do power cleans, go ahead and switch these off and on, do power cleans one week and weighted jump. Fire advice, switch these off and on, do one one week, the other next week. Fire advice, and just before we get into this, make sure that you do your warm up first and you can do a couple plyos to fire up your central nervous system before you get into these. This is not in order. It's actually a little bit, of, no, definitely not in good order. Jumping squats the other week, but most people don't know how to do power cleans, especially beginners that watch this channel. So moving on, the number one exercise that I have for you for strength to increase your strength would be to increase your deadlifts or, or squats. Deadlifts or squats, either one of these. I just said deadlifts because we already did weighted jumping squats. So I like deadlifts better for this category. Now, 
to increase our strength. So I do agree with this one. Deadlifts or squats is the is the best. They are the best exercise to increase your strength. They're just compound movements, meaning you're using more than one muscle group, um, multi joint exercises. So yeah, deadlifts and squats they definitely deserve a spot in your vertical jump training plan and in most workouts. We have to be going heavy. That deadlift form is. You have to be going heavy to increase your maximum strength. So I would do for this one, I would do five sets of five. Okay, five sets of five of heavy deadlifts would be the best way to increase your strength. Moving on. Agreed, five sets of five, best way to increase your strength. I still have that in my programming. Yes, this dude's a genius. I don't know who he is, but this dude, he seems like he knows what he's doing. The best plyometric exercise for the best vertical jump workout of all time would be depth jumps, okay? When it comes to plyometrics, the best plyometric of all time, depth jumps. It's definitely up there. It's definitely up there. I guess if we already did weighted jumping squats because repeated dumbbell jumping squats, they gotta be the best exercise for jumping, okay? Depth jumps are very close. Sprints, very close. Approach jumps are probably a little bit better because you, you gotta practice your jumping, bro. That's just number one. In order to jump higher, you gotta jump, but depth jumps, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, we like it, we like it. The main thing that you wanna focus on is speed of movement and explosiveness and reaction time. There is nothing better, hands down nothing better that could help you increase your vertical jump. That was a terrible depth jump, bro. I've made gains since this video because I'll put on the screen right now a video of me doing depth jumps currently. I don't even know what that was, bro. That was terrible. And I used to think that you couldn't, that, listen, when I made this video, I had it in my head that your heels could not touch the ground for depth jumps. That is not true. Your heels can touch the dang ground. What is this, kindergarten? You're allowed to touch your heels to the ground, bro. You, you drop down, you hit the ground, and you bounce up. You don't have to do that on your toes. Anyways. Jump, when it comes to plyometrics, then depth jumps. Depth jumps is the number one plyometric exercise of all time. The only thing that could compete with this. Oh, there's, there's nothing, let me clarify. There's nothing wrong with doing it on your toes, but you're allowed to use your entire foot for depth jumps. Come even close is practicing your jump form dunking a basketball. That's the only thing that could even come close. So hey, fire. Well, so so right so back then 3 years ago, I believed that depth jumps were the number one plyometric for vertical jump and I just said the only thing that could come close is doing your approach jumps. I still think that approach jumps, dunking a basketball, touching a vertex, touching a rim as high as you can, uh, using your actual jump technique to jump repeatedly, teaching your body that this is what we want to do. We are practicing our jumps because we want you to adapt to jumping. I still, back then and still now, I believe that approach jumps are definitely top of the line, probably the best exercise to increase your vertical jump. Look at Jordan Kilgannon. My man's jumped in Isaiah Rivera. They jumped and they jumped and they jumped and they jumped and they jumped. And their body eventually said, oh crap, we must get used to this jumping because it seems like they're gonna be doing that a lot. And their bodies developed and adapted to that and look at them now, they are still flying. So exercise three that we have in our best vertical jump program workout of all time is depth jumps. Unilateral, meaning one leg or single. You gonna give us the sets and the reps, bro? Cause right now you just said depth jumps. The best unilateral exercise that you could do would be explosive step ups, actually weighted explosive step ups, weighted. So what you would do is you would hold weights, you would do these explosive step ups and some people are. Let's see, do I agree with that? Weighted explosive step ups, the best unilateral exercise that you could do for vertical jump. It's definitely up there. It depends on, look, this one depends on like what you're actually going for. If we're talking about power and vertical jump overall, then I do, I, mm, I do agree with this. I do agree with this. If we're talking about unilateral strength, which is also very important, I really like single leg Romanian deadlifts. I really like, you know, pistol squats, but for overall vertical jump and power, I don't know what could beat this. This is this is a good one. Argue whether or not this is actually a single leg unilateral movement. It is, you're only using one leg for the step up. So by using weights, you are increasing your strength. By doing your explosive step up, you are increasing your explosiveness and your speed of movement. 
So overall, that means that you are increasing your power because those are the two elements of power. So therefore, I believe that weighted explosive step ups are the number one best single leg exercise that you could do to increase your vertical jump and jump higher. Moving on, a hip extension movement. You could also put power cleans in for your hip extension movement. However, I think that the best hip extension movement that you could possibly do to increase your vertical jump for the best vertical jump workout of all time would be kettlebell swings. I believe it would be kettlebell swings. Get a heavy kettlebell or... Please take note of this kettlebell swing form, please. Kettlebell or get a heavy dumbbell and do some kettlebell Bro, you ain't doing kettlebell swings. You about to throw the dumbbell through the roof. Okay, so for kettlebell swings, how are you gonna say this is the best, the best hip extension exercise and not even know how to do it correctly, Nathaniel Morton? So for kettlebell swings, you need to let your hip extension do the all the work, okay? I'm using my arms. This, is, this ain't no hip extension workout. That's a shoulder workout, bro. So all in all, I do agree that kettlebell swings are super important, but to be honest with you, they're, I don't think they're like, uh, they're great, but I don't know if they're number one. But very quickly, if you do kettlebell swings, please, don't, you, your arms don't even do anything. You literally, all you're doing is holding the weight with your arms. You are getting the momentum by exploding through hip extension. That's how the weight is moving. You are doing explosive hip extension. You're not lifting the weight with your arms at all. Kettlebell swings, and that would also increase your strength increase your speed of movement, therefore increasing your power, therefore increasing your vertical jump. So kettlebell swings are great, but I like barbell hip thrust better. There, I said it. Exercise number five on the list to focus on hip extensions would be kettlebell swings. Moving on, number six, our lower back exercise. There's a lot of good lower back exercises out there. We got our hyper extensions. We got our reverse hyper extensions. We got our supermans but the number one best exercise that I think you could be doing for your lower back would be... My handwriting gets worse and worse as we go on. Alternating Supermans. No, no. Alternating Supermans are not the best exercise for your lower back. Come on, bro, come on. Um, let's, let's, let's hear him out. Let's hear this dude out. I believe are the number one best exercise for your lower back when it comes to increasing your vertical jump and jumping higher. You can do hyper extensions. You can do reverse hyper extensions. Those are going to be extremely good as well. However, when it comes to lower back, a lot of people do the hyper extensions wrong. Okay, they don't have very good form. They're arching their back. Um, and with the- Bro, nobody does that, bro. Everybody. People know how to do hyper extensions. I gotta forget this is me. I'm about to suck this dude. With the alternating supermans, there's pretty much no way to do it wrong. It's body, it's a body weight movement. You're just alternating your arms and your legs and you're increasing your lower back strength and your core strength. So therefore, I think alternating supermans de deserve a spot on the best vertical jump workout ever platform. Okay, moving. <laughs> Um, guys, so I see what I'm saying in this video. I see that, bro, you can't say do alternating supermans because most people do hyper extensions wrong and alternating supermans are safer. If we're going for safety, why you got them doing barbell jumping back squats? Anyways, guys, I do see what I'm saying, but alternating supermans, that's a great exercise. That's a good alternative if you can't do hyper extensions or reverse hyper extensions. But I would say the best lower back exercise for power would be repeated band good mornings. But if we're going strength overall and we're really, and we're excluding deadlifts, um, then I would say hyper extensions and reverse hyper extensions are very good as well but alternating supermans can be used as a substitute if you don't have access to a hyper extension machine then that would be a great exercise moving on our core exercise the number one core exercise that i think you should do to increase your vertical jump increase your your core strength in general and your vertical jump would be med ball side tosses Medicine ball side talk. I wasn't sure what I was gonna say here, but I like that. That's a, I still program that, like that's a fire exercise. Med ball side tosses. Tosses. I believe these are the best, and I know that's your obliques, you're working your obliques, 
but this is the best exercise. First of all, look at them biceps. Bro was ripped. Second of all, what's up with that haircut? Third of all, uh, I'm about to do it. Against the wall would definitely be better. By the way, this was an apartment building that we were throwing the ball against and somebody came out and yelled at us. Exercise that you can do because it's an explosive exercise. You are throwing the ball to a partner or against the wall. That Therefore, you are increasing the strength of your core. You are increasing the explosiveness and the power of your core. Therefore, that will be the best exercise that you could do to increase your vertical jump. Now, I, I like it, and I don't just like it for vertical jump, but I also really like it if you're a basketball player, that you gotta be doing rotational core exercises, so fire sauce. I truly believe that this is very close to the best vertical jump training workout that you could do to increase your vertical jump and jump higher. All right, guys, listen, I've seen enough. So I also didn't give you the sets and the reps for anything except deadlifts and squats. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go from one to seven through the categories, and I'm going to give you the replacement exercises that I think I would put in there now, three years later with a little bit more knowledge, and then I'm gonna put them in order for you, and then I will give you the sets and the reps so that we can actually come out of this with the number one best vertical jump workout of all time. So in the first category, in the power slot, I'm going to keep weighted jumping squats, although I'm gonna make you do them with dumbbells and do them repeatedly. So I wouldn't do barbell back squats if I were you. I would do repeated dumbbell jumping squats for my power exercise. Also, I wouldn't do that first, but I'm gonna give you the order in a second here. For strength, I would keep that one as well. I would do deadlifts or I would do squats, and yes, I would do it five by five, heavy, and I'm gonna pick deadlifts for this one because we are doing the repeated dumbbell jumping squats. For my plyometrics, I would choose either depth jumps or sprints, and if you compare them side to side for which one is actually better at increasing your vertical jump. It's going to be depth jumps. Sprints are great, um, but I am going to say depth jumps. I just see, here's the thing. I wouldn't do all of these exercises in one workout. I think this is too many exercises for one single workout. But since this is the way that we're doing it for this workout, I'm going to keep depth jumps and I'm just going to say four sets of five reps of depth jumps, five sets of five reps of deadlifts, and four sets of four reps of repeated dumbbell jumping squats, jumping as high as you possibly can. For my unit, Unilateral exercises, see I would pick weighted explosive step ups, except like these are the best exercises. These are the best vertical jump exercises for each category, but you shouldn't necessarily do all these in the same workout. So that is why I'm struggling right now. Because if it were me, I wouldn't even do weighted explosive step ups. I would do regular body weight explosive step ups. All right, so let me be clear. Weighted explosive step ups are better than body weight explosive step ups, but I don't think all of this should be in the same exact workout. So I'm gonna make them body weight explosive step ups and I'm going to super set them with the deadlift for a little bit of contrast training, so that is that. For the hip extension exercise, see, this is the same exact thing. I think that barbell hip thrusts are probably the best exercise you can do for hip extension, but if I'm already doing five by five deadlift and all these other exercises, I wouldn't do barbell hip thrusts in the same workout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you guys that I do think that barbell hip thrusts are a better exercise than what I'm about to give you, but instead of barbell hip thrusts, I am putting in there Band pull-throughs for three sets of 10 to 15 reps as explosive as you can. Moving on to lower back, alternating supermans are absolutely not the best exercise you could possibly do for your lower back to increase vertical jump. I'm going to say hyperextensions or reverse hyperextensions. I do like reverse hyperextensions a little bit better, but I'm gonna say hyperextensions are better because they just build overall strength in your lower back and they pro and you can load them up, whereas you can't really load the reverse hyperextensions unless you have a reverse hyperextension machine, which which nobody does. I would do those hyper extensions for three sets of 10 reps just to build your strength and then for core. I like the med ball side tosses. You could do some other ones, but med ball side tosses are going to be the best overall if you are a basketball player, which most of you actually are. And those med ball side tosses would be for three sets of six to 10 reps each side. So now we'll go ahead and we'll fix the order. So the first thing I would ever do would be a warm up. Then I would do my plyometric next, which would be depth jumps. Then I would do my power exercises, which would be repeated dumbbell jumps jumping squats. Then I would do my strength exercises, which I would do the deadlifts, and I would superset that with body weight explosive step ups for contrast training, just meaning one heavy exercise followed by a light plyometric. Then I would do my three sets of 10 reps of band pull throughs because now we're moving into the accessory work, which this is also a power exercise, so it could be put before squat or before deadlifts, but we're gonna put it after deadlifts, three sets of 10 reps of band pull throughs. Then we're gonna say our hyper extensions, three sets of 10 reps, then we would finish with our core.
core, our medicine ball side tosses. And that is it for the best vertical jump workout of all time. And let me remind you right here that there's no such thing as a best vertical jump workout of all time. There's not, because the best workout for me is not the same as the best workout for you. So when we're getting specific to a certain individual, the workouts are going to change. But overall, the workout that I did give you three years ago is good. I just think it's too high volume. I think there's too many exercises. I don't think there needs to be these seven categories all in one workout. But I do think the workout that I just gave you, the revised workout, is a little bit better than the workout from three years ago. But if you've gotten anything out of this video, number one, I want you to understand that no vertical jump workout is the best workout in the world. There are different workouts that are going to be good for different people depending on where you are in your training career. And also, most effective vertical jump workouts are not extremely high volume. It is good to have high volume days, but most vertical jump workouts are low in sets, low in reps, and high in intensity. When you get finished with your vertical jump workout, you should feel bouncy when you're leaving the gym. You should not feel fatigued or like you just went to failure or like your central nervous system is about to have a heart attack. But anyways, guys, that is it. Let me know if you like this kind of video. I'm sorry that I roasted myself, Nathaniel, for three years ago. I'd probably beat you up. Actually, he would probably beat me in a fight. He looked pretty big there. I've been soft. I've been getting lazy, but I'm just kidding. I love him and I love me right now and I love all of you and I hope that you take this information and use it to increase your own vertical jump on your own vertical jump journey. Like, comment, subscribe, comment, jump down below for a free vertical jump training program. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to do more videos like this and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Young beast mode from the East Coast. A young kid with a West Coast feel. And I don't even know how the West Coast feel. I'm from where it's cold. The city made a steel where a lot of fold. Only a couple keep it real right. Back seal, keep it real tight. Keep two L's just like Cool J. My heart's cold as Ice Cube. Praying it's a good day. I'm at a crossroads, but in a good way. I